in this video we are going to see a problem based on calculation of shear stress and compressive stress for a plate in which a hole is punched here we have a question a force of 31.68 kN is required to punch a circular hole of 14 mm diameter in a metal plate 2 mm thick Calculate shear stress and compressive stress developed in the punching rod. So here is the question we have. Now whatever is given here, let me write that in the form of data first. It is given that a force of 31.68 kN. Since it is given in terms of kN, I can even write it in the form of Newton is required to punch a circular hole of 14 mm diameter in a metal plate 2 mm thick calculate shear stress and compressive stress developed in the punching rod shear stress is tau compressive stress is denoted by sigma suffix c so these are the two values which we have to calculate let us try to get the solution for this problem In the solution part, again I will explain it with the help of a diagram. Here we have this plate which is made up of metal, inside which a hole has been punched. Here we have a punch and this is a metal plate inside which we are producing a hole. This plate has a thickness of 2 mm it is given. And here we want to produce a hole of diameter 14. So even this punch diameter will be of 14 mm. Next, here the questions are, we want to calculate how much is the shear stress and compressive stress developed in the punching rod. So for that purpose, first I'll calculate the value of shearing area and resisting area in compression. So the first thing which I'll write down here is since shearing area is given by, I'll write it down as A suffix S, it's equal to, shearing area is nothing but this circumferential area which is the circumference pi d multiplied by the thickness of the plate so it is pi d into t so here we have the shearing area as pi d is 14 t is 2 so this shearing area value comes out to be 87.96 mm square now after getting the shearing area i have to find out how much is the area which is compressed so for that I'll write down since cross section area of punch that is A suffix C is equal to pi by 4 into D square. Here I am getting the cross section area of the punch because this punch would be subjected to compression. So the area is the cross sectional area and therefore this is pi by 4 into 14 square which comes out to be 153.94 mm square. So after getting the shearing area and 
the area which is subjected to compression now we can go for the calculation of respective stresses so first i'll write down since shearing stress in the punch is given by shear stress is tau is equal to force into shearing area so therefore shear stress is the shear force it is given in the problem force value is 31.68 into 10 raised to 3 newton shearing area we have calculated it is a suffix is 87.96 so if i multiply these two values my answer comes out to be 360 360.16 newton per mm square so this will be the first answer next after finding the shearing stress we have to calculate the compressive stress on the punch so therefore compressive stress in the punch is given by compressive stress is sigma suffix c and that is equal to force into cross sectional area so therefore sigma suffix c is equal to force is 31.68 into 10 raised to 3 cross sectional area we have calculated it was 153.94 newton per mm square so sigma c value this comes out to be 205.80 newton per mm square this is the second answer so if we look into this problem they were telling us to calculate two things two two things first to calculate the shear stress induced in the punch next compressive stress and we had understood the meaning of it by drawing a diagram and finally we have calculated the values of shear stress and compressive stress induced in the punch when a hole is punched in a metal plate and with this we complete the problem.